Hello everyone. I welcome you all to today's uh, session, wherein we are discussing questions of uh, CAT level difficulty. So I bring forward questions from different areas, different levels of difficulty. Now some of the questions that we discuss here are of uh, uh, slightly easier difficulty level. Some of them are uh, really good uh, with respect to the concept being used in the question. So the question that I have for today is this question from your numbers topic. You may call it as numbers or special equation. Right? Anyways, you can just pause the screen at this moment and try out this question yourself. See what is the answer that you get. And this is a theta question. So you'll have to uh, get your answer and then when we'll discuss, when we'll discuss, you can just verify uh, whether the answer that you obtained is uh, all right or not. I, however, in this uh, video will be starting the discussion of this question. It says uh, how many pairs of positive integers a comma b, pairs of positive integers a comma b satisfy the equation a square minus b square is equal to 210. Now whenever you have an equation of this form a square minus b square, we can always write it as, factorize it as a minus b and a plus b. See the reason why we are doing this is when you have a pair of factors like this because 210 being a natural number can be written as product of two natural numbers or two integers in only a limited number of ways. Because he says a and b are positive integers. So 210 can be written as product of two positive integers in a limited number of ways. What will be those ways? We can just count them on uh, manually also or there are some methods that we have in numbers topic for counting them. But before we solve this question, I would like to take up a general discussion, a general discussion of uh, this kind of questions. Look at this. Whenever you have questions of the following type, a square minus b square, let us say it is given to be an odd number. Right now we're taking even, let's say we take an odd number, something like uh, 105. a and b are positive integers, he says. So if a and b are positive integers, the way we go about solving it is, once again we factorize it, step 1. a minus b into a plus b will be 105. Now since I say a and b are positive integers, can I say, a plus b will definitely be greater than a minus b. Sum of two positive integers will definitely be more than difference of the same two positive integers. Next, if you look at 105, 105 is nothing but 3 into 5 into 7 when you prime factorize it. Now, how many factors will this number have? So, number of factors, the formula is power plus 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 factors. So this number 105 will have 8 different factors starting from 1 till 105. Now if there are 8 factors, in how many ways can we write this number 105 as product of 2 factors? That will be nothing but half of this. Please understand, if there are 8 factors like this, I will just write it down for the sake of discussion. 1, 3, 5, 7, then you will have 15, then you will have 21, then you will have 35, then you will have 105. These are the 8 factors. If there are 8 factors, in how many ways can we write the given number 105 as product of 2 factors? It will be 4 ways like this. First into last, second into second last, third, third last, fourth, fourth last. So number of ways will be 4, which I have written it here. You can also take it as a formula. The number of ways of writing 105 as product of 2 factors will be number of factors by 2, which is 4 ways. Now if there are 4 ways, please consider one of the ways. So if I take one of the ways as 105 into 1, a plus b into a minus b, we already said that the larger factor will go to a plus b, the smaller one will go to a minus b. So when you take this case, you will get a plus b as 105 and a minus b as 1. So when you solve this, you will get the value of a as 53 and b as 52. So you will get the value of a and b this way. So that means one pair of factors is giving you one solution, only one solution. If there are four pairs, the number of solutions will be simply four. So that means can I say my answer when a and b are positive integers will be nothing but number of factors by two for the given number. This is the case for odd number. This is the case for odd number. Whenever the number given is odd, if a and b are positive integers, my answer will simply be f by two, number of factors by two when a and b are positive integers, natural numbers. There could be one more case, a and b could be integers, simply integers. So if they are simply integers, please understand, then 105 can be written as 
I'm just writing all the cases. Not just this, if they're integers, we can also write them as negative sign, right? Negative sign. So that means my number of ways will be nothing but equal to number of ways of writing a given number as product of two integers will be nothing but equal to number of factors, eight ways. There will be eight ways, four positive factors, each of them and four negative factors, each of them. Now again here, if you take one of the pairs, consider one of the pairs. So this will give you how many solutions? A plus B equal to 105, A minus B equal to 1. This will give you one solution when you solve it, right? But we could also take the other way around because a and b are now negative integers also allowed so when you solve it you will get some other value of a and b so that means one pair of factors here are going to give you two solutions and if there are eight pairs of factors like this overall you'll get two into eight 16 solutions so that means if a and b are belonging to integers then my answer will be number of factors double of that so number of factors is eight double of that 2f if a and b belongs to integers. This is the case when the number given to us is 1. Now what about the case when we have even number? Let's consider that also. Say a square minus b square is uh, given to be as uh, let's say 120. Say 120. So how many solutions will be there? a and b are positive integers first. So if they are positive integers we can write as a minus b into a plus b is 120. Okay. Keep listening. Product of two integers is even that would mean what at least one of them has to be even and say if i take a plus b as even sum of two numbers is even then the difference is also even so that means effectively speaking can i say if this number is even the other number has to be an even number yes so if both have to be even if both have to be even what we may do out here is what we can try to do out here is we can write this a plus b as some 2k1 and also note that a plus b should be bigger than a minus b. 2k2. Cancel out these twos. It will go 30 times. So k1 into k2 will be equal to 30. Product of two integers should be equal to 30. So in how many ways can I write 30 as product of two integers? Where k1 is greater than k2. k1 is greater than k2. So firstly we will have to check what is 30 prime factorization. So thus number of factors will be 8. And if number of factors is 8, number of ways can I say will be 4, 8 by 2. So just for you to be sure, what are the ways that we get here? So 30 can be written as 30 into 1, k1 is 30, k2 is 1, or 15 into 2, or 10 into 3, or 6 into 5. So these are the ways in which we can write 30 as product of two uh, natural numbers, uh, particularly natural numbers, because you are taking the case of a and b as positive integers. So in this case, please tell me what, uh, please think about it. When you're getting the answer as 4, you're getting because each will give you one solution, right? k1 equal to 30, k2 equal to 1. That will give you a plus b as what? 2k1, 60. a minus b as 2k2, 2. Solving that, you'll get one solution. So that means each pair is giving you one solution. So when you say number of ways of writing 30 as product of two positive integers is 4, my answer will also be 4. There are four such pairs. But how did we get this 4? We got this 4 not from 120, please note. What, what did we do here is, what did we do here is, so a square minus b square equal to some even number, n. Okay. What we did here is, firstly we did, did n by 4, right? If you note here, 120 by 4. We calculated this, let's say it is some a uh, or, or some p. We did n by 4. And then we calculated the number of factors of p then we did half of that. So number of factors of p by 2 is going to be your answer if a and b are positive integers. Belongs to natural numbers. Now what if a and b belong to integers simply? So if they belong to integers, just like the previous case, here also, just like the previous case here, we could also take negative uh, pairs of factors. So minus 30, minus 1 minus 15 minus 2 uh, minus 10 minus 3 minus 6 minus 5 and when you take this pair again now so this will give you one solution the other will be when you take the reverse of it so that means each pair here is going to give you now two two solutions so there are eight such pairs there will be 16 solutions 
and how did we get 16 it's simply 2 into number of factors of p when a and b are integers so this will be the case of case when the given number is even this will be the case when the given number is odd here the given number is even so how do we go about it we go about it like this so can i say directly for this because it's positive integers my answer is number of factors of p by 2 now what will be p here 2 10 by 4 and what is 2 10 by 4 52.5 now this cannot be p because p has to be an integer so thus can i say here we can have no solution because my answer will depend on number of factors of 52.5 we don't consider that we always take number of factors of uh, natural numbers so we don't consider this hence my answer will be zero this is one way to look about it look at it another way could be notice the following a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b that is 210 product of two integers is 210 that means at least one of them has to be even so if i take this as even we just now saw like two three minutes back the other number has to be an even number so that means on the left hand side you have two even numbers so if you have two even numbers can i say left hand side overall will be a multiple of four even into even will be a multiple of four whereas if you look at right hand side it's not a multiple of four so you can never have equality there it's as good as saying odd number is equal to even number they will never be equal on left hand side i have a multiple of four right hand side i don't have a multiple of four they will never be equal and hence my answer will be zero there's another way of looking at it but anyways i wanted to take up this entire case exhaustive case here i hope you have followed this discussion entire discussion that we had in this particular video so that we have come to the end of the session today thank you and all the very best